Hello and welcome to Teachings in Education, Maker Spaces. Join the Maker Movement. Provide a designated area with materials for students to create and innovate. Let's answer the question, why should educators consider implementing Maker Spaces? Maker Spaces are self-directed learning environments. Students develop their independence because they are given free will and the ability to build how they choose. Makerspace assignments and challenges teach a growth mindset attitude. Try and try and try and try again. Students can make mistakes without being marked incorrect. Even better is the fact that Makerspace problem solving activities are meant to simulate real life situations. Makerspaces allow for students to hone their creativity. It's an open space where children can bring their imaginations into real life. Watch the excitement in your students' faces. Students find the knowledge themselves. With Makerspace assignments, students are going to learn and acquire knowledge during the process of creating their assignments. And lastly, teachers always have the option of making the assignment a collaborative effort. Makerspaces are great for collaborative learning. Now, you'll probably want to know how to get started with Makerspaces. Here is a five-step plan. First, create a supply list to budget for the Makerspace. Reach out to other schools with Makerspaces to get an idea of what they are using and what the prices are. After the budget list, you're going to have to find ways to pay for these supplies. Makerspaces are expensive and schools might not be willing to pay for everything. One idea is to reach out to local businesses and the community. Third, you're gonna to have to assess your school to find an appropriate space. Take a school-wide survey and get everyone's opinion and get everyone involved in the maker movement to find that space. Once the maker space is finished and available to students, start with a school-wide design challenge. This competition is a form of gamification. It'll engage students in a fun and open manner. And lastly, incorporate makerspaces into classroom curriculum. Add project-based and inquiry-based learning assignments that utilize makerspaces into various courses. So, where are we gonna create these makerspaces? If space is limited, teachers can portion off a part of the classroom and use it for a makerspace. Some schools have used part of the library for a makerspace. There are also digital maker spaces where students collaborate in open spaces online. Other schools have used trailers and old school buses. Now onto some tools for maker spaces. Here are some typical examples of maker space tools. 3D printers, metalworks, laser cutters, electronics, computers, CNC cutters, textiles, basic supplies, and much, much more. Ultimately, you wanna see students coming in and out of the maker space, excited about their projects, working together, figuring things out for themselves, doing schoolwork, and working on their own personal projects. Let them become entrepreneurs. Right now, I wanna say thank you for your time. Please subscribe, like, and share this video, and I'll see you soon.